that I was going to spend the rest of my life on stage entertaining people. Symbol of your liberty, your freedom, for all of the world to see America, this melting pot. Oh, I love it here. This is an amazing place. Well, now, let me tell you something about the our founding fathers. The founding fathers, yeah. I've got to get our country back on track. This government isn't doing anything to clean it up. And yet, the whole country is run on pharmaceuticals. We are, I tell you, I am appalled. This is such a hard world to begin with. It's a world out of balance. This riffraff and gangsters. Like the New World Order? It's the oligarchy ruling the planet, man? Missile defense. <laughs> so the extra hot and spicy. Oh, hypnotized by media manipulation. And who told you that this is all there is? This life is real. Can I get another hit off of that joint? Right, and that's kind of what the show is about, so I don't want to give you away too much, but... Wow. Now, I learned from a very early age, there are two kinds of people. Those who like our country every year on this day. Everybody in America will hold out their flags and hang them on the doors to celebrate the birth of my little girl. <laughs> and those who may not like it too much. This country's going to pop, I tell you. This country's going to pop. I want to move to Canada. If it wasn't for my six cups of coffee in the morning, a little ballet, a little bag of dad, and a big old blunt to start my morning off, I just don't think I can talk to any of these people. I'm sorry. I mean, some days, you know, I'm just better off staying home. I get really bad menstrual cycles. <laughs> My mother's voice just kept ringing in my head. Health insurance! Health insurance! You need a job with health insurance! So I see this ad for a really cool job in Hollywood. It says, raise money for really good causes, work part-time hours, and still get benefits and health coverage. Well, quick tips are you're going to look at the script, OK? You'll have a script for everything that you're calling for. Just look at the script, look at the screen. Uh, Mr. Mr. Mumbles, um, is this not okay time to talk? Hey, no, I, uh, I can't hear you. What? I can't hear you because I'm, uh, I'm a watching the Republican make constipation. No. <laughs> You gotta listen to what, yeah. I mean, even if you're not listening, just make believe you are and maybe repeat a few words that they said before in the conversation uh -huh. so they think that you're listening, right? Okay. I just wanna let you know that this call may be monitored and recorded for my accuracy as I am a compensated and professional fundraiser. We're really glad that you care about the animals. What? What? Is this about the sheep? No, no, no. No, no, I had nothing to do with a female sheep. No, no, this is not a sales call. May I have your social security number? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But you, okay. Can you provide me with your date of birth? No, you can't. We have your address as two, This four, is telemarketing. Two, seven, I'm not nine, telemarketing. I'm uh, a telefundraiser. Well, uh, There's a difference. Okay. You know, because, you know, you're raising money for good causes. And, you know, I'm not doing it for the money. Because, <laughs> God knows, you can't make any money in this place. But when you think about all the good causes and the organizations that you're raising the money for. I mean, like, I just love having these meaningful conversations with so many beautiful Americans all around the world. And this is an amazing, amazing place. I, like I said, I'll never have this back where I come from. I just love Arizona! Well, what's your name, dearie? Oh, Christina White. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, that's such a nice, pretty name. <laughs> yeah, you sound like such a nice, pretty mm -hmm, girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, well, that's okay, Miss Christina. <laughs> no, Paul, you tell me where this land, this beautiful land of milk and honey and dreams, and then maybe I help you. No. Don't get me wrong. I like the animals very much. So, <laughs> maybe one day you'll have special project with sheep. <laughs> you need a volunteer? <laughs> you call me! 
not come because I want to open up the donut shop. <laughs> I do not come because I want to entrepreneur in the 7-Eleven. I pour the person coffee, spread the person cream cheese on the bagel, give the person snacks and sit in a little box in the gas station. And then I saw the statue. When I came over on the Ellis Island, I knew that this was the place that all my dreams could come through in America. Give me your tired, your poor, your hungry, your homeless, yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore, send these your homeless, damn it talks to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. Or like you, Sky, to be an avant-garde multimedia performance artist. I would love to do something like that. Thank you. 